So the world's best-selling earphones are now updated. Finally, after all these years, we have a new version of AirPod, kind of like when Apple finally updated the iPad mini. They needed an update for this version of AirPod for a very long time. But the question is, do you want to buy it? My guess is yes, but the next question is, should you buy it? Well, that question is slightly more complicated. I hope to really make it super clear. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're not, hit the like button and let's get into this right after this. this, this What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. And today, we're going to talk about the AirPods, the new ones, and whether or not you should buy them. So let's get into the video. So Apple announced the new AirPods, and finally, we have a new design, kind of. I mean, they basically look like the AirPod Pros, uh, which is a good thing for some and not for others. For those of you who like the design of the older AirPods, you're gonna be a little bit upset by this, but if you've used the AirPod Pros, at least you'll have an understanding of what that feels like. Now, of course, these look like AirPod Pros with one kind of big difference. You'll notice that there's nothing here for the ear tips, and that can be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I've had kind of mixed reactions to my AirPod Pros um, kind of falling out of my ears. I, the nice thing is you have different ear tips that'll keep that from happening. I have no idea idea what's going to keep these in your ears because I'll tell you right now the AirPods Pro which look again very similar to this would not stay in my ear if it did not have that tip so I assume that there's a slight difference here that maybe hooks into your ear better uh, so uh, we can think that maybe the fit is going to be similar to pros but hopefully a little bit better with the exception of the fact that without any type of rubber tip your noise isolation is going to be not as good and you got to remember these don't have noise cancellation so of course the pros are the noise canceling beasts in the apple lineup and the airpods are just supposed to be your kind of normal everyday earphones or ear pods or airpods whatever the hell they want to call them but regardless, these are the base level AirPods now. Uh, we got rid of getting rid of the older version. And we're going to see some of the things that you get with this. Now, while they are available very soon, one of the things they've been pushing is the spatial audio. Now, if you've ever used spatial audio, it is absolutely incredible. Uh, I've used uh, surround sound systems for many years in my home, and I love it. It's awesome. But spatial audio takes it to another level by putting sounds all around your head, especially when you're watching movies. Uh, maybe you're watching a movie where an explosion happens, not just to the side of you, but to the back side, the back upper side, and you can kind of visualize it in your head just by listening. It's kind of hard to explain. If you have an Apple store near you and they have something they can present to you so you can listen to it, you should try to try that out. If you have a friend, maybe you shouldn't use your friend's AirPods. That's kind of nasty. Never mind. They're saying that the base is going to be a little bit better than before, which is great because in the normal AirPods, they it is not good at all. It's just, if you're a base head, you can forget about those. And to be quite honest, the AirPods Pro are okay for bass. I don't know if they're trying to imply that this is going to be even better, uh, or if it's just gonna be of the level of the pros, which was better than the AirPods. It's, it's hard to know here. They're saying that they have a new custom amplifier um, and it's gonna give rich, deep bass, but I mean, I, I'm unsure about this. You also have to remember the price, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. The adaptive EQ is gonna be interesting because there are a lot of other AirPods out right now um, that, are, uh, that have adaptive EQ in them, and usually by app. Um, this is supposedly going to do it as it listens to the surrounds, the sounds around you while you have it in your ear. That's awesome. I mean, for this much money though, it better do that. Actually for this much money, it better do a lot of things. Um, but it's supposed to give you the, the most clear and the most kind of accurate sound that you're going to get out of your music. And again, they're really talking about how you're going to get high quality audio out of these, not just a regular pair of Bluetooth ear earphones. At least that's what they're saying. They're talking about the acoustic mesh. I don't know why that really matters. Um, obviously phone calls on AirPods have been excellent. The, the qual quality has always been great you know, coming in and going out. Most people, uh, when you're making phone calls on AirPods to another person, they don't even know that you're wearing AirPods. They've been a master at this and I don't suspect that will be anything different this year either. Now they're doing HD voice over FaceTime. If you've ever done FaceTime, you'll know that the quality of video and audio is darn good, but they're saying now you're actually going to get a higher quality audio with a new codec, A-A-C-E-L-D, um, for speech. And I don't know what this is going to sound like. It sounds pretty good to me without this, uh, so I don't know if it's going to sound much clearer. One thing that's really interesting about technology over the last several years is how good like video calls happen, but if you ever make a regular phone call, which I mean, who does that anymore? The sound quality is actually pretty bad. Uh, when you do a voice over IP call, something like a FaceTime, it's much clearer. I, they're implying here that it might even be more clear, but 
This just might be jargon for things you're already hearing. We'll have to wait and see. Now, it of course has that pinch stem that uh, the AirPods Pro has, which is kind of cool for like controlling things. But, you know, I gotta be honest, um, I rarely use that whenever I am using my AirPods Pro. Um, I think some people will use it for pausing and playing, but I think also taking it out of your head will, well, taking it out of your ear will also uh, pause music as the pros do. Uh, but of course you can answer and, and calls by clicking. It's a weird sensation. It's you're pressing against something hard. There's no button there. It's like a haptic ish type thing. And when you click it, it, if you've never actually had AirPods Pro before, it is almost impossible to explain what this is like, but it's a pinch control for uh, your, 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 your AirPods. So now the uh, has a MagSafe charging case, which is interesting. Of course, they're doing MagSafe across everything, and it's IPX4 sweat and water resistant. So, of course, if you're out there swimming and getting your uh, grind, on, grind on into LA Fitness, you're going to be fine. Uh, and, of course, now the additional 30 hours of listening time and six hours uh, in each AirPod without the actual case means you're getting almost 40 hours of total listening. Now, Apple's been pretty good about telling us the truth about uh, battery claims in the past, whether it be their phones or whatever. They're actually really accurate on this. So I suspect this is actually pretty good. My boy, Jeff from Al Heavy Reviews will be doing a great review of this. I can't wait to see his thoughts on this as well. He's gonna do a very in-depth report. So if you've never seen Jeff from Al Heavy Reviews, uh, check them out and uh, definitely tell them I sent you. And of course you get the connection like all Apple uh, products when you open it up it instantly connects. But I'll be honest, like the switching, which is supposed to be seamless between my Apple products, which is a great feature, doesn't always work and sometimes becomes frustrating. The way it's supposed to work is if you have like AirPods and you're connected to your phone, you should be able to put your phone down, open up your iPad and it should automatically connect. And then from there to maybe your MacBook. And that's great. I mean, in theory, it's amazing, but it just doesn't always work. Uh, whenever you have a Bluetooth set of uh, earbuds that can automatically connect to multiple devices, that seems to always work. So I'm not real sure why this feature doesn't always work on uh, my Apple devices. But tell me in the comments below, do you have problems with the instant connection with the AirPods currently? Love to hear about it. So this is the new thing where they're talking about how it knows when it's in your ear to play music when you take it out of pause. This is not like new technology or anything, but it's saying it has a skin detection sensor, which sounds gross. But I mean, okay, as long as it knows when to play when it's in my ear versus when it's on, on the table somewhere because it can detect skin. Hmm. Always on Hey Siri, we know all about that. Um, I do love the announced notifications. This is something that you've been able to have on AirPods Pro um, since the beginning. I actually love this feature. If you're listening to music or something and you're not paying attention to your phone, you'll get messages in your ear telling you what the text message is. This is literally one of my favorite features of the AirPods Pro and one of the only reasons really I would say to have some compared to some of the other um, AirPods that are some of the other earbuds that are out there currently, but it is a great feature. I don't know why they don't just, I would say, I don't know why they don't let other earpods have this, but this is the little reason why. The enhanced Find My, so Find My is getting stronger with every new product that comes out. Um, it looks like they're gonna have a new proximity uh, sensor or something. Uh, uh, they're going to be able to play sounds, which is nothing new. Actually, uh, AirPods have had this kind of same feature for a long time, but they're saying enhanced Find My. So I don't know exactly what that means. Um, the current Find My for AirPods works great, so we'll have to see what this means. As, so as we can see, the second generation still exists, uh, 129, the AirPods third generation, 179, and 249 for the AirPods Pro. So here's the thing. Um, obviously, you're getting spatial um, spatial audio with both the Pro and the new AirPods and a bunch of the other things that you normally would get, uh, the, the much better battery life between the uh, Generation 3 and 2 and even over the AirPods Pro, but you're losing out on noise cancellation on the Pro. I, I think that's a big deal, especially if you're going to use it for travel or anything like that. The can noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro is really, really good. You will not be getting that. And at 179, I'm having a hard time saying that you should absolutely get this unless you're just a huge fan of AirPods and you have some old AirPods you're trying to get rid of. Now, there are some other brands out there that are coming out with great products. Uh, again, Jeff from Heffy Reviews has a bunch of reviews of those. Soundcore just came out with a new line of earbuds which sound and look amazing. I love uh, Soundcore's product line. They're much less expensive across the, uh, the board. No matter what your budget is, you can find something. So. I would say in general that at 179, this is a hard sell for me, very hard. Like it might be better all around than the previous edition of the AirPods, but quite frankly, you can get some really great uh, earbuds for much less, or you can get two or three pairs for the same price as this. That way you can have one at work, in your car, in your house, and never have to worry about losing one and then just being screwed. So 
AirPods. Are you going to buy the new AirPods from Apple? Or are you going to try to get something else? Or are you an old school AirPods fan wanting to make sure that you have the latest and greatest from AirPods? Leave me a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I uh, also have a video here that I did earlier today talking about the newest MacBook Pros. Maybe you want some AirPods with your new MacBook. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.